Hi, welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2025. We are here at the Crestron booth. I'm Brad Kerner, Senior Product Marketing Manager of Megapixel, and we have our beautiful Ventana micro LED display. Uh, this display here at the Crestron booth is 4.8 meters wide by 1.2 meters tall. It is made out of our ultra thin, ultra compact Ventana micro LED tile, which is 300 by 300 millimeters square and only 18 millimeters deep. This is a glossy version, this one? This and one, yes, is a glossy sample. It's pretty beat up for our trade show piece. And then this is our matte finish that we have, uh, which is much better in brighter ambient conditions. Uh, our gloss is really good for controlled light environments like screening rooms. Uh, we've been seeing our matte take up a lot of application in retail environments and hospitality and living rooms where you have much brighter ambient lighting conditions. Here it can be great at the trade show. There's so many bright lights everywhere. Indeed, it is. And we have a have very mat, high ambient brightness environment here, and you don't really see any of the uh, ambient failing glare from uh, competitive light sources. And uh, so, so this is a great example of a huge display, nearly five meters wide, uh, and running on your engine also. Yes, uh, so Ventana tiles run on the Megapixel Helios processing system, which has our PX1 card inside of every tile. Now, this is the same exact technology that we use in film and broadcast studios um, for pro-level productions. Uh, we've won an Emmy and, uh, sorry, an Oscar and a couple Emmys in technical achievement for virtual production studio technologies. And now we're seeing that exact same level of pro-grade technology applied to uh, LED display walls in hospitality, residential, retail applications. Nice. Um, and uh, what's the consideration when you, you come and make a setup like this at a trade show? What do you need to think about? Um, there is a subframe that goes in place that is a very rigid frame, and then we use uh, magnetic pucks that attach to the frame and then the tile snaps into that. And we have a magnetic uh, power and data system that creates a mesh for all the tiles. So if a tile needs to be removed or replaced, you can just uh, put a suction device on the front and pop the tile off and replace it. And then we have a variety of calibration techniques and technologies that make sure every tile looks uniform, every edge looks perfect, and is seamless to form a, a beautiful, seamless, vibrant display. Uh, and we so have about when you a, have the setup very stable, you can have a perfect, huge display, very difficult to see the, the seams. Yeah, so a, a properly designed subframe can be out of uh, aluminum frame or steel frame, or can be out of a water jet cut slab of aluminum. So you can get it very, very thin overall for the structure and the display if you wish. Um, the processing is just a single rack unit Helios processor that's connected by fiber optics to the local rack for the tiles. All right, is it running at 60 Hertz? Could be. Excellent you can question. Even do we higher, want right? very, very high frame rates. Um, the actual tiles can go hundreds of frames per second if need be, because again, it's in the virtual production studio where they do need very, very high frame rates. We're here at the Crestron booth with our Ventana display because they're demoing their new DM NVX system, which is an AV over IP solution in the Crestron ecosystem. Uh, and of course, we can integrate Helios into that system very well. Um, one last key spec a lot of people ask for is we are a thousand nits brightness on our display. Ventana is available now. We've had hundreds of installations and uh, we've been scaling up globally throughout the world. All right, so totally available, Qu quantities increasing. Yes, right. indeed. We've been seeing Ventana displays used in some premium uh, enterprise and conference room applications. Uh, where it really makes a dazzling presence for either telepresence, conferencing, or information display, or brand use, design use, so forth.